What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Close this. I'm so loud, I opened the door with my voice. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you guys like this kind of videos um, where I pretty much take an idea of mine and I'm going to be transforming it, turning it to life. So for this one, we are going to be doing inception photos. The thing with photos is that you can make things that people will never see on a real daily basis. So you're kind of creating something that someone's never seen before. Oh my God, this shit's so heavy. I gotta go to the gym more to hold this camera. I, I tried to get a couple people to help me with this, but no one has, um, or at least everyone's busy because it's exam season right now. So I'm gonna be trying to attempt this by myself. So what you'll need for this is just a simple camera uh, a tripod if you're by yourself. If you're not by yourself, you can just take a photo. And you need a drone, which is probably the biggest expense towards this because you're going to need to be able to get that aerial shot. Um, so yeah, I have to go pick up my drone from my friend's house because he has a drone. So yeah, let's go uh, try this. Let's go pick up the drone and uh, let's go execute. I am not the victim of this love affair. You can make me go away. I don't really care if it's getting fair. I just want to love you babe You got me around your finger You got me in a twist to stay But I refuse okay, to Okay, so we got the drone. One problem I realized is uh, we're still gonna need an SD card, a micro SD card, because my friend uh, doesn't have one, or at least I couldn't find it in this room, so. Let's go buy that shit. I got the SD card. We're finally ready to go shoot. Yeah, let's go to a location and uh, I'll explain how this is gonna happen and uh, how we're gonna get the photos. Okay, after a lot of driving, um, I made it to the location. I've been here uh, once or twice already um, because I I was doing some other shoots. I did a levitation shoot here and a while ago I did like a little photo shoot on a snow day with my friends. That was like, super I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is the spot we're looking at. Literally just a super straight long road. There's a slight bend at the end of it, but uh, we'll make sure to cut that out. Which way do I want to shoot this? Yeah, so we're going to walk over here. So pretty much how this works is you're taking two photos and merging them together. Yeah, you're going to have a street shot, and then you're also going to have the drone shot from top down. You merge them together and it looks like the world just bends in half like in Doctor Strange. I think my biggest problem with uh, vlogging solo with no one is uh, the amount of bags I have to carry. I'm carrying my camera bag and the drone bag. Okay, I'm on the side of the road. Um, I just realized dude, this is gonna be a lot harder alone, and especially because it's fucking cold, and I did not bring uh, gloves or anything, so um, it's gonna be a little tougher because I have to put the camera down, start the timer, make sure there's no cars, pose, a lot of steps, but I'll get it done, and then I'm probably just gonna fly the drone from in the car, just because I don't really want to freeze my ass off. You know what I mean? cold as balls today. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Let's get our bags and shit. Okay guys, I don't know if it's uh, blurry, but my hands were so cold when I was taking those photos, I don't even know how I survived. I got them and I ran back to the car and I just warmed up. My I hurt like hell, you know that feeling when your hands are dethawing? Here's a little snippet. Oh. Pretty much, I'm about to get these drone shots. There's a lot of cars pulling up to this location, so I don't know, you know, what's crack a lacking. Let's stop wasting time and let's do that shit.
success, baby. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that little sequence. We are back in the uh, studio slash my room, and we are about to edit these photos. I'm gonna show you how to put it all together and make it um, into one photo. So let's hop into the computer, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna hop into Lightroom. I already got this set up for you guys. I got my one photo, which was me um, on the road, and then we got our uh, top-down drone shot. So step number one is we need to get the color of this photo as close to the color as this photo. The way I do this is I'll start with one photo. So we're gonna start with this one. This is not even centered, which kind of pisses me off. Maybe I'll choose a different photo. Okay, so we got this photo now. Um, pretty much I'm gonna start by just grabbing lens correction. It pretty much fixes distortion. You can do that with the GoPro one too. I already got it hooked here. And then pretty much you do some cropping. So I'll start with this. Usually I'll just do a good quick edit. Okay guys, so I did a quick edit. So pretty much what we're gonna wanna do is you can come here, grab this photo, go into develop, and then you wanna put grab press one of these two buttons. This is if you're using Lightroom. Then you can drag and drop a reference photo. So you can grab that, bang and you can work on getting the color the exact same. So I'm gonna try and do that as much as I can. Okay, so I think I got it as best as I can here. We're just gonna go ahead and export these. We're gonna try our best. Um, you guys get the point. Okay, so once we're in Photoshop, we wanna open up the photos. Okay, so once you open your photo, you're gonna wanna make a new um, document pretty much, and this is where you're gonna put both photos in and then layer them. So we're gonna go uh, with uh, 2,000 by 3,000. So once you open this new document, you're gonna wanna grab both photos and you wanna drag them in. And then you just wanna resize them to the size of the photo. But just make sure you're sizing them down, not up, because then you're gonna be losing quality. So you're gonna wanna throw not the drone shot on top. Then pretty much what we're gonna do, we have this selection tool. So what this selection tool is, is you can pretty much select things and it'll automatically look at the colors of it. So if I only wanna select like this line here, you see how it automatically goes along the line. So what we wanna do is remove the sky and all these trees and this white. Thing. So make sure you're selecting on the plus. You can also change the size. And then we pretty much want to select all, like I said, we want to select all, everything except the road. So, there you can see I selected the whole road and pretty much what you can do with the selection tool is remove this completely. So if you right click, you got select inverse, feather, select mask. We're gonna select inverse, so we're selecting everything we want to keep. Then we're going to press right click again, and then you're going to press layer via copy or layer via cut. doesn't really matter. We're going to press the cut one. If you look in the right here, it's separated both layers. So now you got your bottom layer. If you just want to see the bottom layer, you can even hide this, and then know, we'll hide that first. Then you can see it disappears, and if you only want top layer, there you go. So you can see we pretty much cut that photo right in half. We don't need this bottom layer, so we're going to hide it and throw it at the bottom. And then, there you go. Like I said, we have this. But we still have to clean it up and make it good. So what we can do is we're gonna zoom in. The key here, line. you wanna line up these lines with those lines. You can see like it's kinda hard to see at this point because the pixels, but pretty much if you line it up like that, you're looking good, just make sure your white lines are lined up as well. You can see how these don't go all the way out. So we wanna make sure we make this photo wider. So we're gonna zoom back out, control T, make it bigger. If you eyeball it, then you can kinda We'll go with there and then we'll check, see if we can uh, line it up. Zoom into, uh, what were we at? 700, I think. It, it's kind of hard to tell. If we zoom out, that's pretty much the final photo. We can still do some cleaning up. I want to press adjustments and you can add an adjustment. So let's say the bottom is, uh, it looks a little too contrasty right now. So we press brightness and contrast. We drop that down. It looks a little better. But yeah, that's pretty much the photo. So if you guys enjoyed that video with me um, editing this photo, new vlog coming out next week. Um, I'm still thinking about what idea I'm going to execute. And I'm working on my My Year video right now. So uh, stay tuned for that um, by the end of 2018. Like, subscribe, comment, and as always, just kidding, I don't, I don't have an outro thing, so uh, I guess.